It's Tyler Strike at Universal Rackets, and today we are going over the proper serve stance. A lot of players, they have trouble with their serve, and the only reason is because they're not standing in the proper position. When you serve, make sure you stand in the proper place so you can get yourself off to a good start. So if you stay tuned for this whole video, we will be going over tips and to show you the exact serving position, okay? Now, when you serve for the ball, okay? A lot of players, they'll either face forward like this, a lot of beginners, or a lot of players will face this way. Let's first go over this way. This is beginner serve, right? You wanna be here, you wanna to toss the ball up and you go. If I do this, I'm just using all of my arm and my shoulder. So again, if I serve and I toss and I go like this, I'm just using all of my arm and shoulder. You wanna make sure that you are sideways so you can rotate around and hit your serve. So the first thing is, if you're like this, instead of being like this, I want you to get on your surfboard or skateboard or snowboard, right? You wanna be sideways, you don't wanna be facing. You wanna be sideways so now you can rotate. And remember, the serve is the same thing as a throwing motion. Now, some coaches, some YouTube coaches, some people will beg to differ, but in general, for a beginner club level or intermediate player, the serve is the same thing as a throwing motion. When you throw, you don't throw like this. You turn sideways and then you throw exact same thing on the serve. Now, after you're sideways, this is where a lot of people go wrong. Many more people who are common players, they play a lot of tennis, they do this wrong. They're facing the target on the deuce side. So look, you're here, you're sideways, okay, you're sideways, you're on your skateboard, but you're facing this way. You're facing directly towards the box. Well, Tyler, that's what I should do, right? Like, I serve and I'm like this. I serve and I'm like this. I have a lot of trouble doing that. Notice, when I'm pointing towards the box. When I'm pointing towards the box on the deuce side, I am taking basically my bottom half out of the ball. So I'm sideways, but I'm pointing my toe this way. So my hips are still this way, but my body's kind of this way, right? I am using all of my arm and shoulder still. This and this do not work. But again, you're sideways, but you're facing this way, so then it's hard to rotate. Instead of facing towards the box, what I want you to do is I want you to point everything. If you're a right-handed player, I want you to point it to the right net post. If you're a left-handed player, I want you to point everything to the left net post. Now wait, what is he saying? Rewind, like, are you kidding me? You're telling me point away? Unsubscribe, unfollow, this guy sucks. Comment right now. No, I'm serious, guys. Here's the thing. If I'm facing towards the box, I have no rotation. If I face towards the right net post because I'm a right-handed player on the deuce side, watch what I'm going to do. When I serve, I'm going to be able to rotate now throughout my shot. Again, if I'm facing that right net post, my toe, my racket, my body, everything's there. That If I just walked, I'd walk directly towards it, right? We're going all the way towards the net post. That's going to allow me to rotate throughout my serve. This is where you will be able to get so much more effortless power because you're putting yourself in the proper position. A lot of players, they'll plateau because their toe is facing this way. Look, if I'm this way, watch, now it's going to allow me to rotate throughout my surf. Now, when you rotate throughout your surf, if you're not a pro player like me, you're just a uh, tennis coach, tennis influencer, whatever the heck you call me, I just, I don't even pick my feet up. I'm here and I just go and I serve and I kind of bring it around. If you are getting more into it, you can do two things. Number one, you can do a pinpoint serve where you bring your foot in, so everything's to the net post, your toes, you get in your legs. Or number two, you can do a platform, you can get into your legs, and then you can go. I, before, when I used to play a ton, I would do the pinpoint. I'd bring my foot in. I could never do a Roger Federer platform. It just felt really weird, but make sure to try both. But again, you want everything to be aligned with that right net post. Now, some cues to ensure that you're aligned properly. Your front toe is facing that post. Your racket is facing that post. Your hip is facing that post. Everything is facing that post so you can rotate around and hit your serve at a good level. Now, here's the thing. Now, Tyler, you told me on the do side I want to point this toe. Now, what about on this side? What do I do? Do I stand this way? Do I point my toes over here now? No. If you're a right-handed player on each side, deuce or add, regardless of what side that you're standing on, you still point that toe towards the right net post. So if I am on this add side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. When I face this way, look, I'm still facing that net post. Everything's in line with that net post and I'm going to hit. We gotta go up a little bit higher for that one. Here we are. 
So I'm in line with that net post. And again, I am going to hit towards that net post. Now, general rule of thumb, you don't have to be directly towards that net post. It can be in the general vicinity. So you wanna do net post, that's perfectly fine. You can do the doubles alley near the net post as well. But you wanna make sure on both sides you are facing that way. So if I'm a left-handed player, and there's no way that I can serve lefty, but if I'm serving lefty, look, Where's my toe? My toe is facing the left net post, okay? Now when I serve, we're going to, wow, look at that. It's pretty good. I'm facing that way, I had zero expectations for that. Now over here, right? Facing the left net post, I'm gonna serve, and then I'm gonna go this way. This is gonna be so much more difficult. Should we try it? Let's try it and see what happens. Let's try it, here we are, ready? Think I'm going two for two? Here we are, so I'm facing this, Left net post, here we are. I'm gonna go, hey! Maybe I should just go left-handed from now on. Maybe I'll be able to play pro tennis if I start training lefty. Maybe that was my thing the whole time. I'm playing right-handed, just not good, should just quit and play lefty. No, I'm kidding. But, that was pretty cool, I'm pretty proud of myself. But, what I'm trying to say is you wanna face that net post. Now, the next thing that you want to do with your serving stance, your start of your serve. So I'm facing, everything's in line with that post. I'm not facing towards the target. I'm not facing frontwards, I'm here. The next thing, you want your back foot. We talked about your front foot, but now what about your back foot? You either want your back foot at or behind your front foot. So notice, my back toe is either, again, at or behind my front toe. I never want this back toe to go in front of my front toe. You guys see that? Again, a lot of players, they're like this. So their front toe, everything's lined up towards that net post, but look, their back toe's in front of their front toe. You wanna keep it, look, see how both feet are behind the racket? Now, when I used to really play competitively, I would keep my feet sideways like this, and I would rock back and I would go. But again, a lot of players are like this. Why do I not want to be like this? Even if I'm facing this way, this eliminates my rotation. If my back foot is in front of my front foot, now when I serve, look, I'm already rotated. It's going to be really difficult to get around. So again, you want to keep that back foot at or behind that front toe or the back toe so you can really go to the ball and you can hit properly and rotate throughout your shot. Now, if you are a right-handed player on the deuce side, that's what you wanna do. On the ad side, what you wanna do is you wanna get that back foot a little bit behind. You want it on a diagonal. So again, on the deuce side, you want it to be either straight or behind, never in front. On the ad side, you want it to be a little bit behind. You don't want it to be just straight because why you're facing over here. So again, we're just going to review again. Front toe is facing towards the net post. Our back foot is never in front of our front foot and we're loading up like this so we can rotate throughout our shot. Now the next thing, ready position. And this is a big problem that I had teaching tennis as a tennis coach. I had a lot of players struggle with their serves and I struggled with mine but I taught it properly or the way I thought it was supposed to be taught because of this one thing. I started and I taught all these people to stand with their racket straight out like this. You guys see like this far away, okay? This, you don't wanna be like this. I found that if you go like this, this is so much better. Think, if I'm here, I toss and I have to bring this racket back, it is so unsynchronized. If I'm closer to my body now though, I'm able to go up at the same time. If I start out farther, this goes up, this takes so much longer than if I'm close to my body, and then I'm going to go up. So the proper ready position stance, and other players, they start like this, the racket's back here, their hands down, and then they go up, and then they hit it. No, you wanna start with your racket touching your hand. Look, so I hold the ball, the ball's on the side of the racket, and it's touching the hand. If I'm lefty, it's going to be like this. You want the racket on the tip of your fingers, okay? This is how you want to stand when you're waiting. I kinda think it's like you're holding a guitar, right? You wanna be like this. You wanna be right here. You wanna be relaxed. You wanna have your toes right, proper footwork, here we are. And you want the racket right here, not super extended. That's what I used to do too, too much. You wanna be super close when you hit. So again, we're gonna be close. Here we are, we're gonna be close with ourselves, much more comfortable than being out. And again, we're going to just drop and hit. You wanna make sure that you don't only start with your feet and body in the proper position, but you start with your hands so you can have a really consistent toss. 
So again, just to review, you wanna make sure that you're sideways, you're facing away from your target, everything is facing the right net post if you're a right-handed player, left net post if you're a left-handed player, and for your ready position, you wanna make sure that your hand is here, and you're with your racket up. You're going to always start out your serve like this. A great way to ensure again is not just you're here, but look, the tip of my racket is pointing to the net post as well. If I'm down here, look, the tip of the racket is not. If you're able to do all of this while you serve, you will be able to really have a better starting point and you will see a much better success rate with your serve. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if any of these tips helped you, or if you absolutely hated these tips, please let me know in the comments below. Hate is good for engagement, guys. I love when people comment annoying things. You just keep on egging them on and you get more engagement from YouTube. Now, make sure to check my uh, Instantly Improve My Surf uh, ebook in the description. I put the link in the description. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Tennis with Tyler. Again, these are the starting points for serving. Have a good one, guys, and happy hitting.